Ladies and gentlemen of the Yak Gang, today we have a mission. We are on a mission. Trey's flying in today, and we have one hour. I've challenged myself and told him we have one hour to be able to get him on his very first peacock bass ever. But the uh, conditions that we are dealing with today are not so hot. It's kind of just, just now let up, but uh, it is absolutely pouring today. So let's get to this airport. Uh, let's see if we can get Trey on his very first peacock bass. We are here. We're in the very top of the parking lot. We're waiting on Trey to fly in. Probably another 20 minutes and he'll be here. Then we have to go down here to pick him up. So the conditions today are not near what I wanted them to be for peacock bass fishing. So we're gonna we're just gonna sling it, guys. Full sling today. Not sure what's gonna happen. But I imagine we can make something happen. But with that being said, uh, see you guys when I pick Trey up. All right, ladies and gents, we secured the bag. What's up, fellas? Trey's here for a week. We're here at the first peacock spot. We're gonna try to get him on one. I told him uh, what we're gonna try to do is get him on his first peacock bass ever within the first hour he's been here. It took us about 20 minutes to get to this spot, so we've got about 40 minutes left. I think we can make it happen. Let's get to fishing. We're gonna make it happen. We gotta pee right here. Get it near him and just let it sit. See what he does. All right, let it sit. Pop it just a little bit. Yep, see? Just a little bit. All right, pull it up and do the same thing. See how you're starting to get him fired up? Go eat. There you go. <laughs> You better get it, dude. Oh no. You better flip him. You better figure it out. <laughs> oh god, that was a mess. <laughs> Bring him up here. Oh god. You might want to so he don't yeah, he's gonna just throw like don't throw him, but get him up there. <laughs> That was, so sick, that was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> so I told you guys 20 minutes, or we had 40 minutes left, and we did that in about three. First pee. That's a good one, too, for the first. We're going to get a picture of him and, uh, and get him back. Oh, we got the, the quick release on him. Now we're going to now we're gonna go try to uh, to get on some other ones. How was that? It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. <laughs> Ain't no largemouth, that's for sure. I said 40 minutes. We had 40 minutes, and we did that in three minutes. First peacock bass. Now, now. Now we're on the way to break a PB. So we're not, I'm not seeing as many as I saw here the other day. So I don't know if that's due to the weather because it's kind of weird, but it's starting to clear up. But uh, we're going to keep looking. Maybe go get on some snakeheads and uh, say what's up to the baby ducks. Let's get to fishing. Mm, fat peas right here. Come here. Yeah, hold up, hold up, hold up. Don't, you don't have to cast yet. We're going to go to the other side. Two big ones that we're chasing in the middle. They're probably chasing little, little fish. They might come back to this. Oh, right here, right here, right here. You see him? Hold up. Give me your rod tip. Right there. See him? Oh, yeah. Pass it straight to his face and just jig it a little bit. Let's work another one. We're going to come back. We're going to, you'll catch this one. We'll come back to him. You can tell who's not a professional bushwalker. It's not, uh, not the front deck of a bass boat. <laughs> My man got a mahi shirt on. He never caught a mahi in his life. Boy, please. You did catch a mahi though, right? Uh -huh. In yeah, Hawaii. Yeah, caught in Hawaii. That's right. Only fish I caught all day. Trey just caught his first Florida tree pounder. We're still on the hunt. They're not as active. Yeah. yeah. They're not as, the peas aren't as active today. 100% it's got to be the weather. Because if it was super bright and sunny, man, they'd all be pushed up. Bring it to them. and drop it right there on the sand. There you go, cichlid. There you go. First ever mine cichlid, not the targeted species. There's about four or five peacocks sitting right there. Can so I yeah, you can lift them. They got little bitty, teeny tiny teeth. You ain't gotta worry about it. Like a bluegill, oh, okay. kind of except with teeth. A little cichlid. Probably wouldn't have thrown him right there. Oh, yeah, probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see if anything comes back for it. Hey, 
There you go. Nice little post spawn largey. It was like two more down there following it. Is that your first Florida largemouth? Or did you catch one over there? No, I've caught Okeechobee bass. Oh, that's right. Hey. Pound and a half. Yeah. We literally just said, dude, the water's like super clear right here and it's deeper and there's like, there's like a drop off right there. So we was like, take a cast, see if anything follows it. Sure, th sure thing, something followed it. Is that a peak? Okay. Oh my God, I don't know, cast that up there. That's big. That's humongous. That's a tilapia, I think. So that we've got one P, one largey, and a cichlid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty good day so far. The peas aren't being active, like I said. I don't know why that is, but if I had to take a, a good guess at it, I don't think that's a snake head. If I had to take a good guess at it, I would say uh, the weather. All right, we're gonna make a move. We're going to uh, McDonald's. McDonald's and then try to find a new pea spot. I gotta turn this camera off though, so you guys are gonna see GoPro footage because I have 30 seconds left on my SD card. You know it's been a good day when you fill up an SD card. Now we make the move to McDonald's. McDanks, and then we go find another peacock bass fishing spot. Oh, look at that lizard. That thing was fast. All right. All right, ladies and gents, we're back. We went to McDonald's, we ate. I came home, I took a nap. Trey took a picture of me, or a video actually, and blasted me on Instagram. And made fun of me for taking a nap, but I'm old, all right? I'm, I'm old. Anyways, what we're gonna do now is, how many fish in your life have you caught on a frog? Uh, 10. We're gonna go try to catch 10 fish on a frog in the next two hours. I don't know if we can do it or not. The fishing today was kinda like, meh. As you guys got to see earlier in this video, it was a little, where we were at, there should have been like 30 plus peacocks just kinda chilling, but there weren't, cause that cold front came in last night and it was just, meh, I don't know. So, but the weather's cleared up. We're gonna go fish some, uh, some ponds. Actually, where we're going, I've never fished before, so I'm excited for that. But I'm gonna throw a frog as well, uh, and I'm gonna take a buzz bait with me because I haven't done any buzz bait fishing recently, and I really want to get into that. He's gonna throw a frog because he wants to catch fish on a frog. Let's get to fishing. It literally just said it was fixing to start pouring down rain too, and I was like, ah, oh, it ain't gonna rain. We're gonna hunker down under this tree. Well, you got one blow up so far, so that's good. I'm gonna back back up under this tree. Did you bend your hooks out? Bend my hooks out? Yeah, like up a little bit. Uh -uh. If I miss it, I miss it. If I catch it, I catch it. So this is my frog setup right here. I got the Concept C on the Fate Black. Do you guys want to see me make a video? This is the Concept E. This is a, it's a $400 reel, right? Yeah. It's like 389. Yeah, so it's a $400 reel. It's complete spool speed upgrade as well. This got spool speed in it as well, but not the complete upgrade. Dang, that's porn. That is. I'm going to, I'm going to hide the GoPro real quick. Well, it's been like 10 minutes and we're still uh, under the tree. standing under the tree. He missed one, Trey missed one, and I missed one as well, but that means they're here. We don't want to walk. Normally, I would just keep going, but I don't want to get down here and catch a, a good fish and it not be on film, so. We got Trey a peacock bass today, which was a first. We got him a, a Mayan cichlid, which was a first, and you got a largemouth, so not a bad day so far. Not a bad day at all. All right, new spot. This one's unproductive. Yeah. There's gar and tilapia. This is not what we want. There's a little baby bass right there. So there are bass in here, but I can guarantee you the tilapia have destroyed the, poor, the bass population of this specific spot. So just hop in the truck and ride to the next spot. I don't see no life in here either. Nope. Dang, we're finding a lot of ponds that have no life in them. And I know the GoPro, the camera's not doing it justice, but this one's kind of old and faded, you can tell. But that pond right there is like this super teal blue. I don't know what that is, so if you do, comment below, let me know. I think it's some kind of chemicals they put on the golf course that runs into the pond. I could be mistaken. Let me try to show you guys how, how blue this water is. Like, I don't know if you can tell if that, like, how blue it is, but it's, it's green. yeah, it's literally like teal. It's almost green. No signs of life in it, though, so I don't know if the chemicals kill the fish or, I don't know. Dang, guys, my freaking GoPro died. Like, it froze. It froze, so I don't know if... I don't know if any of that is on camera, and I don't know if that was a big bass or tilapia. I think it was tilapia. Dang, man. I hate my, when my GoPro does that, dude. That really... Do what? Did you get that gar on camera? No, man. I was trying to fix my GoPro. That sucks. Trey just hooked a gar that was probably like, I would say, yeah, it was probably a 10-pound gar. No joke. What is that? That's tilapia. 
But yeah, he just hooked like a 10 pound guard twice, had it on the bank twice and just slithered back off. But like, we're not trying to catch guard, but if we see one big enough and they'll eat the frog, then we'll absolutely try. But uh, that's upsetting, man. I swear, I don't know what it is about this GoPro, but it freaking keeps freezing. I'm bound to go, I'm like determined to go get that buzz bait. Tilapia. Man, it's, my GoPro only, <laughs> I ain't got a good hook in him. <sighs> okay, well, there we go. I didn't even feel him eat. I don't even think he's hooked. Oh, he's got some munchers on him. All right, well, that's number two. And uh, Trey's, uh, Trey's working another one right there, but I think we've developed something, guys. I don't think they're sitting as close to the bank. Granted, I kind of just caught that one like five feet off the bank. We're over here working like as close as we can get, but I don't think that's where they're sitting. So you gotta know when to switch it up. So we're gonna keep fishing the frog, but we're gonna do it differently. We're gonna fish a little more open water rather than at the bank. I think that's gonna punch the ticket for us. We're gonna get Trey a new frog real quick. There you go, right there. Oh, right here, watch. Oh, golly. Hey, just don't move right here, Trey. Stay right here. Got one. He spit it. Yeah, they're not, I, I kind of rushed that hook set and I, I didn't get a good hook set in them. It's probably about time for a new frog, guys. We all think this one's a little bit torn up. <laughs> little bit torn up. Well, apparently you're not supposed to be here, so. <laughs> the uh, security guard came and uh, basically told us to kick this out. He's driving behind us right now, and me and Trey are walking to. Let's get on, guys. And me and Trey are walking back to the car right now as he's following us. It wasn't even worth it. This place ain't even worth fishing. Technical difficulties. Well, uh, we got kicked off, as you guys saw. Well, you guys didn't see the security guard, so I didn't record any of it. But uh, he followed behind us until we got back to the truck, and then decided that he was not gonna write us a, Citation. not a ticket, but like a, 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 a P. Like a don't, don't come back here thing. Yeah, he didn't wanna write us like a anything. So yeah. he just told us nicely. He was like, uh, I believe that you guys will not be back here, you know, if I tell you, so I'm not gonna write you the, the like. And it's not like a ticket, like a real ticket. It's just like a citation for the place that we were at, saying that like, whatever, whatever. Anyways, it doesn't matter. We got Trey on peacock. a peacock, a cichlid, a large mouth and a gar, but you guys didn't get to see the gar because my GoPro froze because GoPro makes the best action camera, yeah, things. Anyways, so I have a problem with my GoPro for those of you new here to the channel. It freezes, and by freezes, I mean it overheats and just stops recording. And I, I don't know because it doesn't make a sound, and I'm not really paying attention too much to my chest mount because I'm fishing, but uh, it, it, is, it is what it is, it happens. But tomorrow we're going out uh, offshore, maybe a few miles off the coast and Trey's gonna get on some, some saltwater fish. I don't know what we're gonna get on, like I have no clue yet, we'll but we're waiting to see what Colin and his dad say. But anyways, thank you again for watching guys. Thanks for tuning in. I love all of you, I already know the deal. What do they need to do, Trey? Subscribe. Right. Thanks for watching guys, we'll catch y'all next time.